I use Google Classroom. And not all my students do all of their work. So how do I share my list of missing assignments with each student? Now it is possible for students to go into Google Classroom and find and filter for missing assignments, but I have a hard time getting them to do that and I wanna give them a list. And you can use schoolytics.com to do that. Schoolytics.com is gonna allow you to share a list of the individual students missing assignments with them. You can do it with email or without. If students have email, you can send them an email with just their list of assignments with a live hyperlink so they can get right back into those assignments to turn them in. But what if they don't have email? Schoolytics has got a solution. So if you go to schoolytics.com and you get the list of missing assignments report, you can click on the tab that says stream. When students first go to your class for Google Classroom, that's where they're at. They are in the stream of Google Classroom. That's where you make your announcements. So Schoolytics will post an announcement per student of their list of missing assignments. That means it's only posted for that one student to see their list of assignments. Now, as a teacher, I can see all the announcements for all of my students that it did get pushed out that each student is announced their list of assignments with the live link to help them to get right into those missing assignments. But on the student side, they're only going to see their list of missing assignments. So this is really great whether or not your students have email. My students have email, but I find it really helpful to be able to post that missing assignments list to the stream anyway, because when they're in my class and they're going to log in, they're going to see that right away and be able to jump in. So I like to have a day where we get caught up. And so I'm going to push those assignments to the stream. So I tell them, go look at the stream, see what you're missing. Let's work on those today. But if you have students who don't have email, this is just a great way anytime to share a list of missing assignments with them. It is free for teachers. So just head on over to schoolytics.com. And once you log in with your Google account, click on the missing assignments report. And then when you do bulk missing assignments, choose the tab that says stream. I'm here in my free account for Schoolytics, and what I want to do is send my students a list of their missing assignments. I can find this over here on the left hand side with the missing assignments report, or I can choose students missing work. The missing assignments report has a button that says bulk message missing assignments. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you're gonna see it's gonna give me the option to create an email, which is great, except what if my students do not have an email? So you'll see it has this option here to click on stream. So we're gonna click on this tab for stream. The default is email. I'm gonna click on stream. And I'm gonna be able to send this message out to my students. Now you'll notice it has a generic list of assignments because it's gonna be customized per student. So student name, you have some missing assignments over the dates. Now do check the dates. Where that came from is up here in this filter. So you can choose your class or classes. You can do it with more than one class at a time. And you can set the date range for the missing assignments. So if you only want them to have missing assignments from this week or in the last seven days, you don't have to send them the entire list. So I'm gonna go ahead, click bulk, message. I'm going to be on stream and I can customize this. Now this is a generic message in here. So make sure that whatever you're typing is for everyone. I'm just going to scroll down and when I scroll down, I can add extra attachments to this announcement to the stream. And when I'm ready, I can go ahead and announce in Google Classroom. Here I am on the stream of my Google Classroom where I have pushed all of the announcements. So if I scroll down, what you want to notice specifically is that it's shared with one student. 
So this is the list of missing assignments that, of Tracy for the date period. You can see it has that personalized note for Tracy, but it's only shared with the one student. So not everyone can see Tracy's missing assignments. Only Tracy can see Tracy's missing assignments. And what's really, really cool about this is the ability to add a class comment. Hi, Tracy. How can I help you get caught up? Who's going to see this? Not the whole class, only Tracy. It's only shared with that one student. So I can actually have a conversation with each individual student about their missing assignments just by posting it to the stream from Schoolytics. So I went to schoolytics.com, it's a free account, I'm on the missing assignments report. I pushed a generic message to everyone, but I can personalize those right on the stream here in Google Classroom. So you can see here's the next student, we have Eric. It's again shared only with Eric. So I'm able to scroll down and see all the missing assignments list for the students, but the students are only gonna see their one list. They're not gonna see anybody else's. And this is a big deal, I think, especially for those of us whose students don't even have email. This is a lifesaver, but even with email, I love that I can have those conversations. They can ask me questions, and the only person that's gonna see that is me and my co-teachers because this announcement is only being posted to that one student.